All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So we are in live hours right now. You're going to see candles move. You're going to see percents move. You might even see an alert of mine pop up, okay? Number one, alerts are not immediate buy notifications. I'm doing a live video right now, so I'm not going to be reacting myself, okay? Um, huge news, and I, I, I can't replay it. Like, I've learned the way it, it works. But if you haven't seen it already, Biden from the official official Twitter X post has just put a reschedulization um, announcement for real for real we saw it here early and 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 my golden onions my thriving chives I've got to make my slamming shallots that's the third one I got to make but we are look at this thing I actually saw it before I posted it here I was worried about deep fakes. We got a couple other confirmations from a couple others. Like this is some big stuff, right? So listen to it. It's a real quick video. The candle reactions are what we're here to talk about, right? So I'll quickly take us to the fireplace. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Um, we're going to get into the technicals because the technicals are big, right? And there's a little bit of meme stuff happening right now. And the sillies of sillies are, 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 are moving, right? Weed stocks are meme stocks, right? And I, I, I say that not offending people, right? Like it's actually, I don't care what the volume, what brings the volume, whatever brings it is good, right? And you can see we're already, look at this thing. We're expecting only 38 million shares today. We're already at 40. There's still a good, good, good three plus hour, uh, two and a half hours of trading, right? So, oh man, this should be a good volume day and already we're breaking candles. So excited to talk about this one for sure, right? But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages there are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video online with your friends. Comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, just being here, giving me your time is super, super appreciated. All right. So we'll come back to the technical shortly. I really quickly want to bring us into the fireplace real quick. And let's just talk some things out before we see the numbers. We let the excitement go. Okay, so um, reschedulization is a is a is an important. I called it a Mount Rushmore moment for the weed sector. I think on on one of the last videos. This really is big news, and I'm a technical trader. I live and die by the lines, and I don't care about news. And more importantly. I, I, I very much believe in buy the rumor, sell the news, okay? So there's a real chance that we get a big pop today and then a dump because of that, right? Like this is now news. Like the man just said, I'm about to sign this thing, right? So it's, 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 it's done in my head. The other half of that is no, no, no. This is now just starting the new rumors because now there are probably expectations that company A, company B, company C, man, all the companies for all we know are about to drop some new financing terms that are actually good terms, right? Instead of these like, you know, take, take what we can and give them minimal, like the rule, this is a free market and this sector has never been in a free market. It hasn't. The, the rules are hindering consumers. The rules are hindering the sellers. The rules are hindering the growers. Like no one is in a free market. And this is a Mount Rushmore moment to get us into a, a near near and the word is still near because there are still a lot of rules there are still a lot of changes there are still missing a piece there's only one face on the mount rushmore right now and it's this it's this reschedulization let's also be honest it's still a schedulized drug taking it off is arguably the mount rushmore moment but hey that's a different conversation for something else right so look there's still a lot that needs to happen 
this is not the moment that I think is going to run us from the single digits to triple digits, all right? But, hey, let's get some nicer single digits. Hey, I don't want to talk double digits yet because I think there's still a lot that are too low. But you, you hear what I'm saying, I hope, right? Um, Biden said a lot of the stuff himself on the on the on the Twitter post, the X post. He talked about like new loan terms. Be like he talked about a lot of the benefits that are actually going to come from this. And oh man, again, it's it's my real question: is is this a buy the rumor, sell the news, or? Are we about to make a whole mess of fresh rumors because of this, all right? The second comment really is the meme stocks that are happening outside of the weed sector, all right? So I'm sure you've seen GameStop. I'm sure you've seen ACB, uh, <laughs> uh, AMC, dyslexic moment, goodness. I'm sure you've seen FFIE. I just, I just started talking about a couple others. I mean, Crown was another one that went on, like... There's some silly things happening on some silly stocks and there's monsters, monsters of volumes that are driving it. This is a moment that could bring good volume to the sector. This is a moment where, again, I, I, I'm about to get into the technicals, but Tilray looks like it's about to break all. CGC and ACB have already been over all. MSOS looks like it's going and MSOX is a 2X on that. Like There are things that are happening today as excited as we are today Everything needs to confirm tomorrow. I'm going to say that one more time. Everything needs to confirm tomorrow. I am not here for a pump and dump. We saw the DEA initial headline pump and dump, right? We need the follow through. Don't assume or expect it's going to happen. But if it does, oh my, 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 all right? And, and, and just the last, last thing, listen. Biden is the most important voice in the United States. Now, clearly, there are a lot of underlying comments behind that and like, is he really? And, you know, money controls this and that. Listen, end of the day, the United States president is number one. I said Kamala was number two because she is the vice president, right? Like we went from number two saying it to number one doing it. Like that's that's a real big left right left jab right hook combo thing you know what i mean oh i wasn't ready to make a boxing analogy but that's what i wanted so look let me know if you have any thoughts on these fundamentals right now otherwise 740 is where we are going to transition into the technical so really quickly please if you can subscribe if you can share oh it does wonders all right so a couple things are happening right now and they're literally happening as i speak because again we're in live hours we're seeing the candles and the percents move all right first thing that seemingly has happened is this 200 moving average the last of the lines all five of the lines after that one right looks like it's trying to break okay 211 is the money line like i need this to close over 211. now in a lot of ways i have i think actually the the real money line is 221. i'm gonna have to um correct that on twitter i think i said 211 earlier i i was looking for that break i'm gonna want a better break just because we're we have a good cluster here and really if we get over this candle that's when things will really happen, all right? So so I, I, I'm gonna rephrase a couple things now that I'm looking at these technicals, and then again, I'll give you a couple more thoughts about how the day is gonna go. I really need this to close at or over 221. I think this is our true line to break, basically because we have too many lines right here. That's a, that's a big cluster and I want a better break. If, and this is something I say all the time, if you can get over the biggest candle to the left and you can see that's basically 250, you become a, 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 a very difficult train to stop, okay? Um, on the daily itself, I love all of these technicals here. I love the positive MACD. I love the healthy 61 RSI. I like the volume. We're already over the 50 line. And like I said, we've still got a, a couple hours left, right? Um, it is all about getting out of these moving averages. I say it all the time. You, When all five are this tight, you get thrown up, you get thrown down, you get thrown up, you get thrown down. This is hopefully some good news that's going to do it, all right? So we've got a couple hours left. Now let's, oh yeah, let's look at the two hour. What's the two hour look like? I like this two hour. 
that's a good MACD, that's an RSI that can still go up and we're already doing very, very well. Um, that's a nice two hour. Where are we on the one hour? That's a, oh, look at this. Yeah, I think I, 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 look, anything can happen. You know I've been wrong plenty of times, right? I think we're closing over 221. I, I really like this this one hour chart, the two hour chart and the daily chart. I, I, I think that's making me feel good right here. Let's come to the weekly really quickly. Look, this weekly is kind of saying, if you can get me out of these, I really wanna come up here to 260. All right, and one thing I just said on the, on the daily is if we can get over 250, it might be a tough train to stop. Hopefully that train can actually smash through that, that 100 because we just tried, all right? And I talked about these two lines, the 50 and the 100. 50 was untouchable, right? There were a couple hits before, uh, sorry, the 50 was unbreakable, that's the better word. Couple attempts before, but you know, it finally does it on this one, right? The 100 has never been touched, right? Like this 50 had one, two, three before the fourth one broke. And you can see it actually came back down and blah, 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 right? This thing in that entire span has actually only been touched once, not even twice, right? Like that candle didn't hit, it was only a wick. So don't underestimate the difficulty of that line. What is that actual number? 257, let's call it 260. 260 might be a little bit hard to break. I think though, I think though, that the DEA headline breaking and these good technicals actually are making me think that breaks. The number I want to talk about after is 320. Look, I don't think we can talk about $4 or higher. My fav I laughed so hard when I saw this, all right? I when look, I'll be honest. I feel like I'm falling into a weed guy and I really don't want to do that. The comment was get us to 20 and keep filming. And man, I just I died a little bit. Look, I can't I, you can't think about 5, 10, 15 or 20 yet. But dude, if we can do that, right? My girls out there, if we can get to 320, that's a 50% move. We're adding a dollar right here, right? So um, I like this. I really, really do. And it feels like this, 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 this must confirm one more time. This must confirm. We saw it pop and dump. All right. There's, there's nothing else you can call that. I don't want to see that again. I don't want to pump to here and then a dump down. No, I want a good, healthy candle and then follow through behind it, right? Like that's what confirmation is, all right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, CGC and ACB and I think high tide are probably going to be um, clumped here, all right? So got to love what we're seeing here. I have kept talking about the strength of the eight and the 20 on all of these. Look at CGC, look at ACB, look at it just, just riding it up and going. Even High Tide had it, and I actually felt bad that I separated it from these ones. All of these have gone up, come down a little bit, and just maintain the lines. Like that is technical analysis. That is using the lines, and that is the difference between the lines just being your worst enemy and keeping you down and the lines being your friends and riding you up. That's what we're here for, all right? So real quick, please, if you can subscribe, if you can share, it does wonders with these algorithms, all right? So with all three of these, I'm really looking for two things. Obviously, you can see I have a couple lines that aren't what I'm about to say, but I'm looking for two things, all right? This was the big DEA headline. I wanna get back over half of the day Half of the candle looks like basically where we're at. And then I for sure want to smash the day. All right, that's my one, two. I am really cool with just half today, smash tomorrow. That's confirmation. That's 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 beautiful right there. Like that does both of what I want to say. ACB, exact same words. I want to get over half. That's basically where we're sitting now. I want to smash it and run, all right? Can you guess what I'm going to say on high tide? I keep throwing high tit. That's not good. This one didn't have as big a DEA head, uh, headline pop. And look, lo and behold, we're actually already over it. So in some ways, you can argue high tide has a little bit of a better go. Now, clearly, high tide is a Canadian company, right? But what do I always say? I always say this. Look, sector strength matters more than the individual tickers we buy, 
all right? Even if you are 100% on this Canadian company, you have to love the, the US news and the US good. The, the, the sector is, is the tide that rises the boats. What was a boat stuck on some rocks that couldn't go forward, all of a sudden could go forward because you know what? The good water from the other sides are coming here and helping us rise, right? Like it's a good thing for a Canadian company that the United States is doing things, right? It's a good, th to me, and, 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 and look, even CGC, let's just come back to the CGC chart while I say this. CGC is actually already making some moves to like move into the US, right? Like there was the CGC America spinoff ticker that we talked about. I, I don't even remember when, um, but even for a Canadian company, when the US is doing big things, when Germany is doing big things, I think to myself, Canada's falling behind. Canada needs to throw a Hail Mary and Canada needs to do something. Otherwise, they're going to become ir ir irrelevant, right? Like they're going to become a, a, a secondary thought in what really could be the next liquor, the next alcohol. Vices, vices never die. I don't care if the recession comes. I don't care if layoffs come. We're going to find a way to, 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 to get this herb in, it's, it's, it's in the house. You know what I mean? So... Um, yeah, dude, vices. I'm, uh, psh, yeah, these are good setups. Look at the MACD positive. We're about to, to cross over. It looks like it wants to. That's a good, healthy RSI right there. Wasn't that long ago we were in the 90s? Wasn't that long ago we were in the eh, 70s a little weak? But hey, even 70s from here is a good number. And again, a couple hours left. We've got some real good um, technicals. Look, we have more than two hours left, so let's look at the two hour on each of these. Yeah, this looks like it wants to keep going. Positive MACD, good RSI. It's not too high. I love the volume. ACB, tell me the same thing, baby. Telling me the same thing. Good volume, not too high. Love the MACD. We're going, man. This thing might actually come to, this actually might come to 840. Goodness. Hi, Tide. Where are you, baby? Same thing, right? Looks like this is a little bit of a wall we got to get over. 244 is a wall we want to get over. But again, look at that. Hours and hours over the 50 moving average line. That's not something that's normal on this stock, all right? Good RSI, good MACD. I am liking these setups. I'm liking these setups on all three of these, all right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's come into MSOS real quick. Oh, man, MSOS. Listen, do not forget about MSOX. This is at 15% as MSOS goes to 8% and they both have the exact same beautiful technical setup, all right? So real quickly, please, if you can subscribe, if you can share, oh, it does wonders for the algorithms, all right? So MSOS, I, we, we talked about the weed ETF, the round hill one, pretty much the same chart as well, just significantly, significantly lower volume, right? I think the other one was MJ. Yeah, there's the, the harvest one. Same setup, better volume than weed, but not as good volume as MSOS. So believe me, I think all three of these, I'm just gonna chapter together, and yeah, all three of these have the same thoughts. We are over all the moving at this 1051 line has been the bane of MSOS. I got very excited on the DEA day, and I very much apologize on the video of the day after when I got it wrong. I thought 1051 was gonna break before. I wanna go to the two hour right now. Are we going to break it today? Oh, man, I don't know if we're breaking it today. That's a lot higher of an RSI than we've seen on the other ones. That's beautiful volume, actually. But I think, what's the one hour? Where's your hourly? Dude, the hourly is getting, but look at that volume on the hour. All right, this is one of those where the news might help it. My, my thought looking at this is, look, I think we're going to end just under 1051 today. Smash and break confirm tomorrow because again that's a good rsi that's a positive macd that's not like super silly volume either yet right so i i like this to confirm tomorrow um let's look at a couple of the the tc nnf truly where are you at i like this a lot again good macd good rsi decent volume i'm surprised it's not that i'm surprised yesterday had way more volume than today but regardless whatever that's a beautiful candle um, bunch of dojis too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cure leaf. 
I love it. I do. I like that we're so far over this one. I think that's going to be our minimum today. Get me a close over 787 today. Let's hunt for 630 tomorrow. I think that would be a real good one too. RSI, uh, sorry, MACD positive, RSI healthy. Volume should hit the, the 50 day line. I like it. Um, Cresco, I always forget this ticker. That one right there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cresco looks like um, looks like True Leaf actually, and I like True Leaf more than Cure Leaf. Ooh, Mac MacD just crossed into the positive. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then Verano, that was the last one. And again, these four are pretty much the top holdings of each of these three ETFs. You know what I mean? So I really like all the tickers within the ETFs. I like the ETFs. There's a lot to like here. All right, let's end it with SNDL. Um, real quickly, I thought that this was going to have more volume. I thought that this was going to actually do a little bit more of like some silly meme stuff. Hey, it's okay that it doesn't because hopefully the sector rises and, and lifts this as well, right? So um, good MACD, good RSI, good volume. I mean, it's, it's, it's the same comments on all of them, right? So really, really loving what I'm seeing. Make sure you you see what the day closes at and then make sure they confirm tomorrow. Hey, I appreciate you so, so much.